So you go for it. Right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you, show you how to do uh, green screen stuff. I'm just going to show you how I light mine. So I'm going to add a video capture device again. Uh, it's going to be webcam. And it's very simple. It's not actually that difficult to do, to be fair. So I'm adding the camera as we did before, 1080 Pro. I'll make sure it's a custom resolution. Uh, it's going to be 1080 because it's the maximum. You can go, up, it, there is a saying to go above it, but obviously, you know, that's probably not a good idea because uh, it won't work. It will only take the maximum resolution you can actually go to. Interesting. Huh. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Sorry. Idiot. I've already got this one up. Let's take that one out. So let's add that again. I don't need to keep adding a brand new source because there you go. I've got an existing one. So I can add my existing source. So right now, it's grainy. But it looks awful. I look terrible. This is not how I look. No worries, man. If you have any other questions, like... Go for it, dude, seriously. Um, as you can see, I've got two lights behind me. Now, the best way... Uh, I don't know how to show this. But, so I've got... What you want to do is, you want to have a screen that is green. Oh, stretching is good. You don't need to have, like... You don't necessarily need to go online and have like a, you know, a professional green screen kit of awesome. You don't necessarily need to do that. You can just have a green cloth, like you can go to a store, a material store, and you can buy like, you can buy like green material, which is, I would say, just make sure you can't see through it, right? Um, and then you can hang that up on your wall. That's essentially what I've got really it is green screen material But you know, it's just it's essentially green cloth. I mean, it's that is not see-through um, Then as I put the lights on and everything else you'll be able to see the chrome how the chroma key is gonna work But at the moment I've got no light. I've got nothing um, the best what you can really do and you can look this up online as well Hey, the evil girl what's going on? I haven't got sound effects at the moment because I'm doing um like streamy showing off stuff. Um, I hope you're well. Uh, the main thing with chroma key and like is lighting. So if you look on the in the internet and you go and Google and you have a look at three point lighting or key lighting and other stuff as well. I'm very good, thank you. I'm awesome. Um, we got September at the moment, the evil girl. So if you've been gifted a sub. You can renew your subscription for one dollar if you have a look at where the sub button is. If you've been gifted a sub, if anyone's been gifted a sub, go and check out the uh, September stuff above, and you'll be able to see. It might say for you, subscribe for one dollar. There's a skateboard. Da -da 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 -da. So it means you might be able to subscribe for one dollar and that will save you guys um you know, four bucks four or five bucks so go and check if you've been gifted a subscription up there it might say one dollar i know a couple of you do have a subscription at the moment gifted to you so i want to make sure that you guys save some money so did the evil girl hero go and check see if you got gifted a sub last month if you did you may be able to save yourself four or five bucks or whatever it is in euros i don't know but and also supports me fully. That's, you know, that's not the reason. It's just because I want to save you money, you know? <laughs> Whatever. Um, yeah, that doesn't work. What's that about? I don't know why it's not working. Ah, uh, she might not have enough. This is true. Okay, so at the moment, I've got my green skin in the hero. Hello as well, dude. And hello to skateboard. How are you doing, dude? Yeah, you have no shinies. There you go. So three point lighting. So at the moment, I've got one light in front of me right here. I've got one light here, which you can see. I've got another light over here. So these lights, and I'm going to show you. I like studio. I guess studio. They're more like home studio quality, I suppose. Um, 
at the moment, I've removed some bulbs. There you go. But this this cover here basically just softens the light. So in here, I've got you know I've got things which soften the light because otherwise it's just going to be bright. So filters out and it co you know it directs it. This is this directs the light as well into an area that I want to be lit more you know effectively. In other words, so I basically. I have two of those which I shine on the background. So the reason that chroma key can work in the first place is this, the green is lit. I select a color in the chroma key basically to pick up that is going to be trans. It's not going to be transparent. I don't know the word. That is going to be able to pick up whatever I want underneath it. So it's basically it just gets rid of that color. It gets rid of that green. It gets rid of, like it just you can put over the top. I don't know how to explain chroma key. How can I explain chroma key in a really easy way? There we go. I'm gonna I'm gonna see if I can find an explanation. Uh, chroma key uh, compositing or chroma keying is a visual effects post production technique for compositing layering two images or video streams together. There you go. That makes sense. Uh, combining two keyframes or images by replacing a color or a color range. Oh, I pretty much said that. In one frame with that from the other frame. It is often used in film industry to replace a seat's background by using a blue or a green screen. So it could be a blue. could be blue screen. It doesn't have to be blue screen. It's blue screen. It doesn't have to be a green screen. It can be one or the other. It can be both. And then you can have an interesting time doing that. It can't be both. You need to have one solid color. There you go. Boom. You check back tomorrow. Oh, okay. You check back tomorrow. With what? I don't understand. So, anyway. So, with the green screen, I need to get something to eat because I'm really hungry. With the green screen... You need to light the back, which is behind you here. And then you need to be lit. I need to be lit myself. So right now, um, and then what I need to do is I need to put a filter on it first of all as well. So right click, and then you go to filters. There is two filters actually. Um, again, you can increase the gain, which is actually the light. The amount of light that's coming in, different stuff like that. And this is all on the audio side as well. Color correction, color key, chroma key. Now you can try color key or you can try chroma key. So right now, the color type is blue, magenta, or custom, uh, or green. We've got a green screen, so we'll do that. Uh, at the moment, I think it's like an auto setting. So you can see behind me, because it's green, you can kind of see how the effect is coming in now, as it is. So if I had a game behind me or something else, like at the moment it's just picking up black and darkness. What I need to do properly uh, is actually have, let me put a game behind me and you might be able to see the effect of it. Or I'll put in the, put in the video. There you go. So you can kind of see it now, right? You can kind of see it. I mean, you do view, but loads of people do use both. I've used both. I've never really had problems. But I think in terms of lighting wise, yeah, because like it's just lighter and darker, I guess. I don't know. But you can kind of see the you, what we're trying to get to so there's an issue right now right this is the problem a lot, a lot of people have so a lot of people there are a lot of streamers out there who just buy a green screen and they'll just have one on light and they'll just be like it'll just look shit it'll just look bad they've got a green outline that's really obvious um it just doesn't look good so that's when you need to start lighting and lighting the background so i'm going to show you what happens now and this might not look great for a moment in time. But that looks infinitely better. Okay? Right? 
that's the magic of lightning people so that at the moment is completely like it's green you need to make sure the one, one or two things that are really important as well is to make sure that you have let me turn off guild wars 2 jesus christ it's kind of nice background music though sound but okay One thing that's really, really useful to have is uh, two lights to do this. You don't necessarily have to. Now, those lights cost a little bit of money, obviously. But having, like, having, like, even, like, two lamps or two, like, standing lamps where you can direct to the background, you know, is quite useful. Like, you don't have to buy lights like this, but these just really do the job. And in all honesty, it costs 150 bucks for a whole setup, like, uh, for a green screen. Like, for the green screen, for the lights, and everything. I have got a light in front of me, which actually costs 60 bucks, which is very, very different. Um, and it's an LCD, um, sorry, LED light as well, which doesn't go... So I don't need new bulbs and stuff. So if you can afford a little bit more for a LED lights, they're really, really good because they don't use that much energy. They don't use as much, um, obviously, bulbs and whatnot. And they'll pretty much last forever until the LED goes out. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Green is definitely, does pick it up easier, but... Blue screens is still used by many people as well. Yeah, I mean, there's no light coming off an LED at all. It's just, you know, it's not heat at all. So it helps that. And it helps you for your heat in your room. So if you have to close the door or whatever. So we've got, the only problem is now is that we have an issue with a funny thing is is i've gone back look where i am as soon as i move that's funny isn't it okay so i've got an issue the reason is is because i'm not lit as well so let's have a look at it's not picking it up that well actually maybe i've got this one oh. yeah i can have it there that's fine Okay, so I'm not lit either, which is another issue. So I've got a light in front of me, which I'll turn on now, which is just a big block of like LED, which has got a thingy in front of it. Um, and there we go. I don't know that good. I don't like it when it's zoomed in. But the quality of the camera has changed. You can get ring lights. They're the best ones because they're all, you know, they're more centered around the face as well. Um, but it's, it's a front light. So now we've got this screen. I will show the and one thing I forgot to say as well is that having this really, really flat um, is really important. So you don't have any like, I don't know, shadowing on it or you don't have any too many wrinkles or whatever. Wrinkles are not too bad. It's just if it's shadow, there is a little bit in the corner there. Um, but then obviously to tidy that up, we do this, pull that in, and you can start to see the rest of the image as well, because it's in the background. And now I'm in space, motherfucker. So there we go. And it looks pretty good. It's not bad. It's not ideal lighting wise. Like obviously it would be a bit better if I had this light was coming down a bit more and you now my, I've had a few more bulbs in there, which I need to replace. But it's pretty good. Like, it's not bad at all. I'm in space. <laughs>